you know, that's, you know, that was so long ago. Well, you know what? The people who you claim to be the righteous people started in this country had laws on the books against these things. It was a crime. And it wasn't because they're, oh, they just don't understand. Love is love. Yeah, our science and technology has taught us so much about the sodomite that this concept, well, they just love someone, never occurred to anybody that maybe, maybe it's just that they love each other. I know that so many people want to put forth the notion that, you know, a hundred years ago or two hundred years ago or a thousand years ago, people were just cavemen banging on rocks. <laughs> love, oh, no love, oh. But that's, that's a fallacy. It's not true. They understood what love is. And they understood what perversion is. And they understood when God says something is worthy of death because it's that bad, they believed it. And when you see the predators that are out there defiling children, and you see these perverts, they are perverts. And they cannot be healed. It is not something you can be restored from. A reprobate that once you're rejected, that's it for you. Once you're born of the devil, once you are a child of Satan, there is no being unborn from that just as much as there's no being unborn from being a child of God. There's no hope. There's no remedy. And there's absolutely no denying how God feels about the subject of homosexuality in Scripture. 